What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today, we're going over the legendary crafted system coming to us in Shadowlands. What we're going to do is look at how to upgrade one, look at how to craft it, and then I'm going to give my conclusion on the best way I think the legendaries are going to be useful in any scenario. So, once you hit level 60 in Shadowlands, you have a bunch of options to do. Luckily, just like past expansions, you have your weeklies, you have your dailies. Torghast runs are going to be weeklies, right? So you won't be missing out too much with that. Just go get your 100 soul ash a week and call it a day. That means you can make one legendary a week at rank 1. How do we craft this legendary? Well, when we go to the rune carver inside Torghast, he's got a little menu here. You have your item that you can put in and then from that item you have a list of stuff. You have your list of legendary powers. In this example I'm gonna go ahead and craft the Havoc legendary for Destro. So what other than the item do you need? Well you need a hundred soul ash obtainable via Torghast runs. You need a missive of haste, crit, mastery, or verse in your first slot. And then the next slot, depending on which you pick up first, the other three are usable. So in this case, I'm going to select mastery. So that's all you need to actually craft the legendary. Is the soul ash, the level you need, the item, so 1 to 400 soul ash, the 190, 210, 225, or 235 item in the main slot, the legendary of choice, and two missives. When you click create, it's going to ask, hey, do you really want to make this? And the rune carver is going to take his fist and just go kaboom, just smash it down like there's no tomorrow. Obviously, very cool animation in my opinion. Blizzard did really, really well. It glows orange. It's a belt. Awesome. That's how you make it. So how do we upgrade it? It's like, you have your legendary now, whoop de doo Okay. How do we upgrade the darn thing? Well, clicking on him, I'd like to upgrade my legendary. A completely separate menu pops up. So you have all the legendaries you're just able to acquire, right? If I take my legendary that I just made, pop it in here. You do not need, I'm going to make this very clear, you do not need another missive when you upgrade your legendary. The only item you actually need is the upgraded item from tailoring blacksmithing, leatherworking, or jewel crafting. So that rank 2 through 4 in this case, and 100 to 300 soul ash. Blizzard has made this very linear process on upgrading legendaries. So in this example, if I wanted to make this a rank 4 legendary from right now, I would need 300 more soul ash and the Torghast waste plate, or the Grim Veiled waste for tailorers, which if we come over to tailoring, I don't have it unlocked just yet, but the Grim Veiled Waste Plate, 300 soul ash in that example. So that's how you need to upgrade the legendary. My conclusions. Raid week comes out for normal and heroic raiding on week two of this expansion. That's a lot faster than previous expansions. Mythic week comes out on rank three. Week three, usually it's three to four, but this expansion is going two to three. Why does this matter? Blizzard doesn't want people to have a rank four legendary 
early progression. It's obvious. How can we get around this? So, if you are a mythic pluser, a PvPer, at the beginning of the tier, this probably won't pertain to you as badly as it does normal through mythic raiders, but as a mythic pluser, you're going to go after your AoE legendary, you're going to go after a main utility legendary, and you're going to call it a day, right? You're going to make those two rank ones, and then when mythic week comes out, you're just going to push. For us heroic, normal heroic or mythic raiding people, you're going to semi have the same concept, right? So when you're looking at it, you're like, oh, well, I can only have a rank 2 in normal heroic week, or I can only have a rank 3 in mythic week. What gives? Don't put all of your eggs in one basket. This advice I'm going to give you now. Do not put all the eggs in one basket. Make your couple of rank 1 legendaries, because the legendary affix does not upgrade. Just the stats on the item. The actual affix does not upgrade. I want to make that very clear. So it's better to blanket craft two or three legendaries that are going to be very good, and then go from there. Or in the case of like really high end mythic raiders, this is what they're probably going to end up doing is they're going to blanket like one or two legendaries at the start of the expansion, right? So week one, when they're preparing, they're going to make one legendary. Week two, they're going to make another legendary. Week three is the mythic legendary, right? Well, you can either make one rank one and one rank two legendary. for Mythic Week. You can make one rank three legendary, or you can make three rank ones. Personal experience, I would make the three rank ones, or the two rank ones. Wait to see if a class is buffed or nerfed, because there are tuning passes that happen in Heroic to Mythic Week. See which one does not get nerfed, and upgrade that one because you're going to have more bang for your buck doing that. These legendaries are going to be very lucrative for gold makers in the very early stages of Shadowlands. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Please keep it civil down there. Don't berate anybody or, you know, just yell at people. I want to keep this discussion very civil, have a very educated discussion. What are you going to go after? What class are you playing? And have a good one.